So in this video, I'm going to share with you a few of the things that I have been loving in the year of 2017. These are products, fitness equipment, food, items, clothes. These are things that if I'm out of, no questions asked, I purchased the same exact thing. Basically, in this video, you're gonna see some things I love, some things I cannot live without. It's all in this box right here. It's a bunch of, I don't know, nonsense really but we're gonna go through it. All right, so the first thing, I have been loving this NYX, Ugh. I always have to put it on my face. I think the camera loves my face. This is the NYX Total Control, I don't know, what is it? Drop Foundation. You basically, it's like a little eyedropper thing, and I don't know, I just love the texture of it. I don't know, can you see the way it droops down? It's just very liquidy. I like liquidy. I like foundations to be very light on my skin. I'm getting older, getting more wrinkles going on, and I just like the way it just makes my face feel really smooth and light, lotion-y, if you will. So if you are more of somebody that loves thickness and cakiness, <laughs> nobody loves cakiness, but if you are someone that likes it to be thick and you like your foundation to be, I don't know what the word is, very thick then this might not be for you. This is very light. It's very buildable though. Also what I love about this is that it is a yellow base tint. So this is good. I get it in true base. Next thing on my list is this right here. Do y'all know what this is? I've already showed this in a video. Basically, this is for your eyebrows, okay? It's like an eyebrow wax thing. Uh, I get the Milani brand. They also have a NYX brand. I have them both. They're basically the same thing, just wax. You put it on your eyebrow and it keeps them in place. So, keep those poofy eyebrows tamed. I love, this is e.l.f. It's got double-sided. I use only one side. Only I'm not good at brows whatsoever, okay? A lot of people like Anastasia and they can just do their brows all wizardy and I'm just not that girl. So, but I, what I do like, I fill mine in. I do. Just a little cheap fill-in product. But what I love about this is this keeps your brows tamed. Now the wax, it does tame them for a while, but it doesn't stick them like all day long hold but this is the only clear brow gel that makes your brow stay this is what i won in my giveaway that i got from miss allegra chetty i am so excited about it i've never worn ColourPop before but these little ColourPop lip stains are awesome they stay on your lips all day long they're a little drying i'm not gonna lie they are pretty drying but i can even put lip gloss over them and they work well love these love the color just yes pigmented yes they're good another thing in the beauty department is this elf little palette it's all dirty okay i'm a girl this just stays in my makeup bag makeup bags are dirty guys just live with it okay but this little elf palette it's got you know all different sorry it's got like all different kinds of shades it's got you know your yellow tint your darker tint whatever i just like this and it's very light and it's very convenient to just you know put some under your eyes and go i like it i like it a lot i like it a lot this is chaps I really like this EOS chapstick every single night every 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 single night I put chapstick on my lips I just don't like to go to bed with my lips dried I don't want to feel like a dried up prune by morning so I put this on my lips every night hey, can you see a trend here I love lips these little lips love lips this is from Victoria's Secret this is the first time I've tried this this year and I have been on the regular using it is these whoa they got one that is liquid and one that is matte Liquid matte, liquid matte, liquid matte, liquid matte. These are actually really good. They stay on your lips all day long. They're not super drying. I, I'm just, I'm very impressed with Victoria's Secret. So, good job, Victoria's Secret. Woo! And they're just fancy, okay? I wasn't expecting Victoria's Secret to be so fancy, but it is. Another thing on the lip department is this. Now, this is not just 2017 for this. I love this stuff every single year. This is Victoria's Secret lip glosses. It's very thick and juicy love 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 i have this all the time i'm always losing it i freak out whenever i can't find this one especially i really like this one they only had one of this kind girls don't be fooled by all these fancy eight dollar eyelash curlers okay all you need is the basic one dollar two dollar ones because the ones that are actually more expensive don't work on my eyelashes my eyelashes are very long very thin but very straight like if i don't curl them they're just bing, pointing right at you 
So I have to have this baby to curl them up. The cheap one is the best. Also with the lash department, this is what I use. Everybody always asks me. Full and Soft by Maybelline. I really like this brand. I don't know. It's just creamy. It's not too thick. I just, I like light because I do have to put a lot on because my eyelashes are so thin. But I curl my lashes and then I kind of just like do the tips of my lashes. And that way they look more fuller in the bottom. I don't know. I just don't really like makeup and I don't like having what's it called mascara at the bottom of my eye like right really close to my eye I just kind of just do the tips and that way you know it looks a little lighter but this is a good brand all right I think the makeup department is over with I'm going to mention these are my come on hill country fair essential makeup remover wipes I wash my face every single night I just use regular soap I don't get into all that jazzy fancy stuff I probably should now that I'm getting older but after I get out of the shower from washing my face then I use these wipes I, I feel like it just gets the excess of what I didn't get in the shower another product from Hill Country Fair that I love is this eye remover no not an eye remover makeup eye remover eye makeup remover it's good gets the job done I put this on my eyeballs and then I use Yay! let's move on to Bath and Body Works this is my favorite lotion of all time this year I just recently got it at the end of the year this is the marshmallow magic from Bath and Body Works I smell like a puffed marshmallow it's not really marshmallowy it's just it's got a great scent. What is it? Vanilla cream, crisp lavender, and marshmallow musk. It's just a musk. And I like musk smells, okay? Musk. Another thing I've been loving this year, the Tahini Dream from Bath & Body Works. This smells very... Oh! I mean, it smells good. It's just sprayed in my face. I don't know. It smells... Let me just tell you the scents. Okay? There's no scents on here. It just smells very tropical... It's just a light little scent. It's not very overpowering. I don't like overpower. I just, nobody likes overpowering. But, yeah. Candles, you can never go wrong with Bath & Body Works candles. My favorite is the Marshmallow Fireside. This smells amazing. Just, I just wish everybody could just have a whiff of this and your day would be so much brighter. Like, if you're having a bad day, just carry this around with you and just open it up and smell it and you just feel so the cinnamon caramel swirl this is also a good one right now i think i have burning the apple cider it's basically caramel apple so good just bath and body works candles i always always every single night have one going in memory for my aunt stella because she would always like candles and every time i had an issue and i would call her and whine about my day or whine about something or have somebody that passed away or something then she would light a candle for them so i do it for her every 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 single night while we're talking shower talk let's just talk about these babies these are not just gloves these are exfoliating gloves they're, they're very see the material I just put the bar of soap in between my hands with these gloves on and just go to town and I'd use these every single night try them out if you don't like using a loofah loofahs are just too you know it's just one-handed if you got these gloves on you just rub your whole body down it's fun this product was a gift given to me from my manager up at the Hoots at the Hooterville and she made this herself I have to give a shout out to Sierra girl this stuff i'm so in love with it see i've already got all kinds of little dents in here it's already pretty deep but this is it's an organic peppermint and she knows i'm all about organic and stuff that was so sweet okay this is organic peppermint sugar scrub but i've been using this on my feet and my hands this was the best gift has made my skin my hands are very rough my feet can be very rough this is great smells it's just so pepperminty and clean and just, girl, you need to make a business out of this. I just wanna, I actually literally wanna taste it. It smells so good, I wanna taste it. Should I? I mean, I know it's for your body, but it's basically peppernut, sugar, and, 
Mmm. Sierra. I'm so weird. Hey, it's all organic, okay? She even put organic on the tag. It's okay. Organic pepper. Since we're talking bathroom talk, let's talk a little bit about cleaner stuff. And this is the Scrubbing Bubbles Bath Cleaner. Cleaners. This is awesome. You don't even have to really scrub. Just spray this on there for a while. Let it sit, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes while you're cleaning something else. And then come back to this. It is awesome you scrub a little bit yeah you have to clean you got to put a little bit of work in but it does a lot of the job it's a very it's a foamy thing let's see just clean my makeup deal see it's foamy i love foamy stuff it just makes me so happy see and it doesn't smell that bad you don't get that chemically smell it's just very good i just i use it all the time and get it Another thing in the cleaning department is Lysol. This is my favorite type of Lysol. You know, Lysol can be very, it can smell very chemically, but this Lysol is the, what brand is it? Cherry Blossom Pomegranate Scent. And usually I don't like, you know, froofy, smelly things like that, but it's just got a nice, clean. <sighs> oh, dirty. It's just very nice and light and it doesn't, smell overpowering and I really like this and Brandon got this <coughs> I inhaled it we're okay Brandon got sick this year and I've been spraying the crap out of this Lysol stuff and I like to think I'm pretty healthy because I usually don't get sick knock on wood but I didn't get sick when he got sick and I think Okay, have we moved on from this department? I believe so. Let's talk fitness. These bands. I purchased them this year, I believe on Amazon. These are the xbands.com. These are called booty bands, okay? They are super strong. I've been using them all this year. You know how when you get bands and then you use them and then they start getting overused and too stretchy? No, not these. Even the littlest one, which I think is like 10 or five pound resistance, they're super strong, durable, love them. Use them at home to strengthen my glutes. I use them when I do squats. I just, I love them, I love them. Another fitness product I love is the roller. This is the back roller. You lay on your back, roll your back out, Oh, it feels so good. If you have a back that is having problems, even your legs, like if you just feel the strain and the tension, roll on one of these babies and I promise you, you will feel great. Just all your weight on it and oh, it feels so good. If you don't have one of these and you have to target a spot, get a tennis ball. But this isn't about that. This is about my favorite things. This is one of them. These headphones, okay? So these headphones didn't have this little thing on there. I put this on there because I'm a little crafty fella. This keeps it in your ear. I had these from another thing. Brandon's talking in the background. He's got people over. Motocross is on. So I'm trying to hurry, but I just like them. The only thing about them is I really like bass and they're not very bassfully. I hear more of the tremble. I don't know how to change that. So, but it's music and it's music in my ears and I love music. You basically just put them around your neck like so. Pull these little babies out, put them in your ear. You know you like it. You know you like that music. And then you, see, pull out, pull out. You're welcome. But wait, don't go off of this video just yet. I'm gonna do a little bit on the food department and then you can go on with your happy, healthy life. Give a shout out to my North Bay Trading. They have the best freeze-dried peas and broccoli. Also, I have to give a shout out to MyNuts.com. I order these things on the daily. I like their freeze-dried mangoes, blueberries. They're just, they got good stuff. Nuts, flowers. Yeah. My favorite protein powder of 2017. I'm sure you know because I've been hooting and hollering about it all year. The other one is not on the market. Once again, it's Yep It's Vegan. 
if that was on the market, that would be in this video, but it's not. So we got the Manitoba Harvest Hemp Protein Smoothie Powder. And then we have Sun Warrior Plus Vanilla Flavor. Very delicioso. I use these every single day. Love them. Minimum ingredients, not too overpowering. Good stuff. Another food item is Nutritional Yeast from Bragg's. I use this on most every dish because it's got a lot of vitamin B12, a lot of iron. I'm vegan, so I need some B12. I need some iron, folic acid, niacin, selenium. It's just good. It's a nutty cheese flavor. I don't eat cheese, so this is a great cheese substitute. Note to everyone that has migraines, eliminate all your little sweetener products. That's another video. but. I do occasionally use this Better Stevia and it's the extract powder. The reason I like this is because if you look on the back of your sweetener packets, you will see all kinds of fancy ingredients that you don't know what they are. They're not good for your body most likely. And this, the only ingredient is certified organic Stevia extract powder and that is it that's why i like it that's why i'm okay to occasionally use it it's still processed it's still not great for you but it's the better or the best version in my opinion and this is the licorice tea spiced tea i love it it is so sweet it's the perfect Cinnamon, orange peel, Chinese, Amy's, vanilla, spirulia, orange, cinnamon, flavor, clove, bud, carmine oil. It's just awesome. I love this tea. I use this that my mom gave me. I love, she always gives me these little fancy booklets. And they're not fancy. I mean, they're little treat booklets, but they're so useful. I write down all my ideas, which don't try to read them. I know you're trying to, but you can't. You know I gotta mention this, right? This is my Canon G7X Mark II, which you can't see the picture of it. I do love this, and I have purchased this in the year of 2017, and it is my ride or die camera. That's what you are inside of right now, and I'm very pleased with it. I like that it's small, compact, easy to use. The focal thing is a little annoying sometimes, but you can't be perfect, right? It's okay. You can't be perfect all the time. No, no, no. Last but not least is my Mac computer. And I have to mention, this bad boy is my iPhone 6 Plus. I've had this all the year of 2017, probably a little bit before 2017. Shh, don't tell Apple, because then they will mess up my stuff and they will make me buy another version or the updated version. You know how they work. They technolize things and make it to where you have to buy one but i've had this one i've dropped it i've smashed it i've done all kinds of crazy stuff to it and i love it i still love it i don't purchase things unless i absolutely have to until like the wires are popping out of it these are my first pair of asics that i've ever purchased ever worn i really like them they're very comfortable i love that they're bouncy they got a little gel to them and they're just Biffy, and they're kind of cute. The only downfall is that they are a little claustrophobic-y. Basically, my feet get a little hot in them, but they're good winter shoes. Nice. Last but not least, of the year of 2017, these were my first Under Armour shoes that I've ever purchased, ever worn, and I really like these. They're very light, they're very flexible. I like that this is more mesh type. They don't get very claustrophobic-y, my feet don't, and um, my feet can breathe in them, so. <clears throat> All right, we are done. Are we? Are we? Those are the fancy products that I have been using in the year of 2017. I really, really hope you do something great for your body today, and I really, really hope you at least comment below. Let me know if you have tried one of these fancy products that I have shown on here, and or try them, and let me know what you think. All right, talk to you later. Favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. All right, I really gotta be done with this video, okay? Brandon, he's over it, okay? He's over it. I'm sorry, 